Hey y'all, it's me, Kevy. Today I've got another poetry video for you, this time reading from Black Girl Call Home by Jasmine Manns. Mama said dyke at the kitchen table. Mama said, so you gonna be a dyke now? As if she meant to say, didn't I raise you better than that? Don't you know I ain't raised no dyke? Don't you know you too pretty to be a dyke? Why are you gonna embarrass us like this? You scared no man gonna love you? You scared of men? Some man hurt you? Who hurt you? Mama said, so you gonna be a dyke now? As if she meant to say, don't you know how hard it already is for women like us? Why are you gonna go and make it harder on yourself? I don't want you in that kind of pain. This world ain't sweet on those kinds of women. I don't want another reason to be scared for you. Mama said, so you gonna be a dyke now? As if she meant to say, I'm scared for you. Trans panic. I've heard of men who grip and gargle foreign yet familiar body parts, then know not what to make of their hands but murder. Lynching their lovers, then abandoning their bodies in unlocked motel rooms. Trying to kill off a part of themselves that has always been left a whisper. I once read of a woman who spilled herself a reddish bouquet who was stabbed so many times in her chest, it almost looked as if someone was trying to get away with her heart. She was found with duct tape over her mouth so she wouldn't be able to tell the whole story or the love story. The black stork was unkept by any family a nuisance to my own self, barely wanted to be touched or looked at by any head doctor, had outbursts of no embarrassment to myself, a foster child of unusual nature. Wasn't the kind of girl you'd leave in public. Either you prop me up dead or put me away somewhere. Undaughtered at 11. Didn't belong to nobody. And nobody belonged to me either. Got used to all the homes, never the hospitals. Doctors called me head sick, manic, patient of my own hysteria. Suspected mental deficiency. Crazy. You could do anything you wanted with a crazy woman. Could take anything from a crazy woman. Could take all my clothes and give me new clothes. Could take all my homes and give me new homes. Six new homes. Took my fallopian tubes right out my body. Didn't give me new ones, though. Didn't ask me if they could have them for themselves. Just took them. Now what's a white man gonna do with my woman tubes? Didn't even tell me where they put them. Been looking for them since 1941 in all of the reds I could find. Tore that hospital apart from top to bottom, looking for my woman parts, the parts they took from me. I told myself as soon as I get my hands on my woman parts again, I would put them back, ain't need nobody help. I'd stuff myself whole again. I'd stuff myself woman again. Have myself a chance to bear children and be somebody's mother. Treated me like a crazy girl ain't got no kind of memory. Like they were punishing my body for the crazy already in my head. Like crazy girl won't remember what has been taken from her. They wouldn't have taken a white woman's body parts. Would have left her whole to pass away like a human. Would have given her peace lilies and prayers would have given her body back to God. They didn't give our bodies back to God. They took them. Oh, this collection is incredible and so profound and hard hitting and definitely give this a read. What do you think of these poems? Have a poet you want me to read next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if it pleases and sparkles, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! <laughs>